Okay, welcome to the tutorial where I'm going to teach you how to play Sam Smith's new song titled Burning. I'm going to play it for you so you know what we're going for and then I'll teach it to you. I'm just going to go into this part which has a variation. Watch this. So the nice thing about this song is that the chord progression repeats over and over. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start and teach you the chords um, with both hands. Usually I don't do that. Usually I'll just focus on the left hand then move to the right hand. But I'm going to show you the chords with um, both hands. I think that's the best way to teach this. And then um, it should be a short tutorial. So let's jump into it. So we're in the key of E flat minor. And so there's going to be lots of black notes. What you're going to do is the first chord is going to be an E flat, an F sharp, a B flat, and then your right hand is going to mirror your left hand. So you're going to have this. So notice how I'm using rhythm here on this fifth interval on this B flat. So I hit together, right, left, and then you'll switch. Now on this second chord here, the left hand and right hand are going to do the exact same notes except that the left hand is going to omit that middle note. So you're going to have an F and a C sharp here. I think it sounds best like that. And then in the right hand, you're going to have your F, A flat, and C sharp. So you're going to hit this together, and then the right hand is going to hit a second hit, and when it does, it goes. So notice my four finger is on the C sharp and my five finger is on the E flat. So I'm going to go from the four to the five. So on the second hit, so one second hit, and then you're going to move on to the next chord. So from there, very slowly, it's So this chord here is the F sharp uh, major chord. So on the left hand, you're just going to do a root and fifth, no middle note. So F sharp and C sharp. Okay. And when you go to the right hand chord, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go two finger on A flat, and then your three finger on B flat. And you're gonna grace from the A flat to the B flat like this. When you hit that B flat, however, your thumb is going to hit F sharp. So it's gonna go like this very slowly. Do doom. Now a little bit more quickly. Okay, this gives music a really nice feel. Um, it gives it a kind of a soulful feel. So you see, kind of moving from one note to the other. Okay, so these grace notes are powerful. And so that's what's happening here to kind of give this a soulful feel. So when you go to this F sharp major chord, you're going to do that. So from the top, it's going to go very slowly. So this little lick here, you're going to go one, two, three, four. So one, two, right hand is hitting that. So you have your A flat, B flat, and then the C sharp. So do do doom, and then da dum. When you hit this E flat, your left hand is going to hit a chord. So let's just focus on the right hand here. So you're going one. Two, one, two, three, four, five. So do you see I talked about kind of that soulful feel with the, the grace notes. Get good at those. So one, two, three, soulful feel going from the C sharp to the E flat, grace note, and then F sharp. Do 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 do. So practice that. So one, two, and do 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 do. Okay? Now when you hit the E flat note, your left hand is going to pair up. So you're going to go one, two, three, E flat. When you hit that E flat, your left hand is going to be on this beautiful A flat minor seven chord. And by the way, the soulful feel, if you, you're learning piano and you want to understand kind of um, how these chords like um, 
this is a chord that actually the piano player that Sam Smith has, he hits this chord. It's just a beautiful, uh, soulful feel. And if you want to learn how to play the fundamentals of jazz, blues, and gospel, I have a course. Check that up. I'll also put another course up there titled Rhythm Techniques for You. It's basically getting your hands to work with one another when they're doing complicated rhythms. Um, so check out that little eye up there that you're seeing on your screen. One in every four of my viewers check that out, checks um, that out. So um, back to it here. So one, two, and then do do doom do doom. When you hit this E flat, your left hand's gonna be here. So all together from this F sharp major. You see how I did that? One, two, three, doo -doo. Okay, so let me play what we've learned so far and then we'll continue. So we know, and then back here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna repeat the exact same thing and then stop right here for four counts. I'm sorry, three counts. So stop on that F sharp for three counts. After those three counts, you're just gonna move back down to that chord and then start it over. So you know this so far, I'll go fast. Okay, we're almost done with this loop and then you'll have this song down. So from here, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back up to what you know, these chords. And then right here, you're gonna move back down. So when you're moving back down, you do this E flat minor chord, and then you're going to the C sharp major chord. And notice I'm doing this grace note again. Okay, that's that gospel. that gospel type of feel so the chords uh, I'm sorry the notes are in your left hand C sharp G sharp and then you have C sharp F and A flat so you have here and then to a B chord now in order to make this B chord sound a little bit more soulful what you're going to do is the left hand is going to play a B flat so essentially this is a B flat major 9 chord um, Sam Smith's piano player actually also plays this chord so it's an add 13. So this is a great way to play this B chord. So you can play it like this, you can play it like this, or you can play it like that. I think that sounds really pretty. So you can pause it here to try to figure out that chord, and that's the whole loop of the song. You now know the song. I'll play through it very slowly so that it's all pieced together for you, and then we'll close out the video. So that's the tutorial. Um, I hope that you learned something new from this. Uh, be sure to check out those programs up there. Uh, like I said, one in every four of my viewers goes and checks those out. They are powerful programs. Make sure to subscribe. I'm going to be doing lots of Sam Smith when his album drops, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Oh. Okay, you made it to the end. One in every four of my viewers clicks right there to learn how to play like me. As always, guys, don't forget to subscribe for more awesome videos. You can click on my beautiful face right there if you'd like. And your next video is right here.